Hey, in this call, go right now. <laughs> hey, you the movie guy. What you think of that Batman trailer? It was dope. That's all you got. Okay. I mean, like, like, it was a trailer. What did you want me to do? Oh, wow, right now. <laughs> no, I'm excited for it because I'll tell Brian earlier, like, the detective comics were, like, my favorite comics as a kid. And they yeah. were very dark and goth, and it was... Um, yeah, it seemed thing. like they're really going to lead into his detective side. I mean, I got faith in old boy playing um Batman. People... Oh, he looks gothy and but it is the comic was very goth and dark. And I'll tell like you, not even in the comics, Batman is a goth character. <laughs> like, the, detective, the detective comics were pretty like other than the Dark Knight, obviously the de- detective series was pretty because he's investigating like you know different crime scenes and it has a lot to do with like the uh a lot of the the villains that are more like zodiac esque, like yeah. zodiac. And so I was the mind saying, people. Yeah, dude. And I was, and I was saying, um, you know, looking at it now, it kind of was at that point in time in Batman's career where, like, he was elevating like his status. Like, he was still a younger Bat, no, not a younger Batman, but he wasn't the old Batman yet. You know, like he wasn't no. like the, the established, certified, you know, old man. Um, but uh-huh. it, it, him being that good actually elevated a lot of evil in other people to match that same energy. And, and that's what I was telling Brian. I was like, it's pretty cool looking back on it. It's, it's like, you know, when he starts getting better, it's almost like his very presence of good brings out the challenge of evil. Hey, speaking yeah. of Batman, y'all going to watch it in a new Mulan? I'm going to wait for it to come free in December. I'm not paying the 30 that they want right now for it. Bro, you got it ball out. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't care about it anymore. Like I do want to watch it, but I'll just wait till it drop for free rather than mm-hmm. drop 30. The new Justice League one? No, the Mulan. Oh, I'm not. No, I don't even care to see that. <laughs> I was just joking when I said speaking of Batman. That ain't got nothing to do with Batman, but I know you uh-huh. been spamming me with that damn trailer. <laughs> every every video yeah. I click on, Mulan. I'm like, man. I did like that. Uh, I did like that Wonder Woman trailer. I think I think that's gonna be dope. Uh, but yeah, I think the Batman's gonna be dope. You know, with him uh, going against the Riddler and uh, Penguin, yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool. I need to see a review on your channel too. When it come out, it's not out yet. I know. It, it, come on, next year or something. Yep. Yeah. Still. Hold on, let me let me spark up real quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> you thought, <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Let's blaze. <laughs> I, I thought it was a cigar, honestly. And then I was out of the stage. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable sm- smoking. Like I can't smoke in the house. Cigars or I mean, I'm can't see get a whooping. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Unleashed Godcast. This episode of Unleashed Godcast, as usual, we got three crazy interesting topics that we're going to be discussing for those of you who are new welcome this is a podcast where us three gentlemen get on here and we discuss different things ranging from philosophy to morals and ethics right we cover the whole spectrum so with that being said new viewers new listeners if you got any suggestions anything you would like us to talk about be sure to send it to us either on the comments if it's a youtube video or message us on if, this, if you listen to this through a podcast, okay? For those of you returning, like I said, welcome back to the Unleashed Godcast. But without further ado, we're going to get right into these topics. The first topic is what happens if aliens are real? Hmm. Huh. What happens? <laughs> 
I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's like, I think this, the first, <clears throat> the first start of answering that question is, do you believe in aliens? Like, do you believe in extraterrestrials or life other than the, other than what's on this planet? And my, and my response is yes. Like, I feel as though, I feel as though it is incredibly naive and selfish to sit here and think that we are the only living, like, intelligent, sentient beings in this entire galaxy that has, well, this entire universe that has billions upon billions of galaxies. Like, how pea brain could we possibly be to think that we are the only living beings inside this entire, you know, pretty much like universe. I think that I think that if aliens were to show themselves or introduce themselves or have or whatever have you, it would have reverberating repercussions, so to speak. Just by, you know, just the fact of their existence, it will cause mayhem and chaos. For some people, well, a lot of people. For like a lot of people, that will go straight against religion. You know, like it will completely pull the rug out from the foundation of what they were taught in a religion. You know, um, some people may use religion as a way to how to explain them away. You know, like oh, they're just demons, or oh, they're fallen angels. You know, like pretty much like you already hear that. Um, conversation now when people got to bring up extraterrestrials. Uh, I do feel as though a day is coming soon where I think that they are revealed. You even kind of see it now. It's almost like the government is slowly acknowledging, you know, a presence other than our own in the universe. Within the past year or two, you know, like NASA has come out publicly and was like, yes, we have hundreds of videos of verified. Boom, there you go. Like, it's you know, like they got all kind of videos of UFOs and this, that, and the third. I mean, between television and movies, they're always making stuff about it. It's almost like they're kind of conditioning the people before they just pull the veil down and just like let everybody in. Like, okay, look, like they are here. And, you know, and they visited us. I feel as though that they live amongst us already, you know, just from the simple fact of, like, look at technology. Look at how technology, ex like, it blew up. And, yeah. you know, and it's like <clears throat> that it's, it, it blew up at such a rate that it's like we had to have some kind of assistance, you so, know? So what you're saying is Elon Musk is the alien. <laughs> nah, for real, I wouldn't even put it past. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really saying him, but like yeah. specifically with like our military, like look at, look at how it catapulted from like World War II to like today. You know, like we went from aircrafts that could only travel <clears throat> you know, five, 600 miles, you know, like not that far. Like they were fast for the time, you know, they didn't have the maneuverability, but then quickly down the timeline, you see the Raptors come in. Yep. Just these agile, super fast things that can travel well over a thousand miles per hour. They're pretty much like, they're like bugs in the sky the way that they get, like they can just move around and crap, you know? And then, you know, we're sitting here with these big bulky planes. Then out of nowhere, we got the um, the freaking stealth bomber. This thing that could just disappear from radar. You know, <laughs> and it's just like, I would like to think that scientists are extremely smart, but just the, the way that technology is just shooting through the roof at such an exponential rate. You know, back in the 80s and 90s, they had TV shows that depicted things like cell phones and things like that. And then the first cell phone was like a brick on the side of your face. And now we got practically supercomputers in the palm of our hands. And it's just like, I don't believe 
that we're doing this without some type of assistance. Oh, yeah. Bro, I would agree, too. Like, even, like, back in the day, you got these geniuses, like uh, uh, Nikola Tesla, right? Sometimes I just think, like, where did you come up with these ideas? Mm -hmm. Part of me kind of thinks that, okay, he was just real tapped into, like, higher frequencies, and he got the stuff channeled and downloaded. But who's yeah. to say that he won in contact with some otherworldly beings who gave him the information? What? And extraterrestrial simply means terrestrial means an inhabitant of the earth, right? So anything uh -huh. outside of this earth is an extraterrestrial. Like people who <coughs> who want to say that uh, extraterrestrials don't exist, well, your God is an extraterrestrial because it's not an inhabitant of the earth. If you want to look at it like in that, you want to play semantics with it, right? And so, like, I would definitely say that he could have, all these geniuses back then could have definitely been in contact with him. But I want to just say this, too. You know, uh, that guy, Robert Greene, who wrote the book, The 48 Laws of Power and Art of yeah. Induction. He kind of looked like a reptilian. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> I seen an interview with him the other day. I'm like, this dude looks like a... The funny, the funny thing about it, I always said that about freaking Mark Zuckerberg. I always hmm. said that something about him just looks off. Hey, that may be it. <laughs> but so for me to ask the question, what happens if extraterrestrials are real? Well, like I saw, I showed the um the picture. It's pretty much saying that um the government put out on they they declassified UFO sightings and things of that nature. Which I mean, you can say it's just an unidentified um object or a flying object, and you can say, well, it could have been anything, but I believe that that's proof. Um, I've heard of other people pretty much who are spiritually inclined who can reach a certain frequency and they can pretty much move UFOs. Pretty, I mean, this is going to sound way out there. So people can like pretty much get it to move just through telepathy, right? Um, I've heard of beings coming down. There is a, um, there's a stone that I have or a crystal. It's called Motivite, and uh, it's basically a high vibrational crystal that came. So, backstory: there was an asteroid that landed into the Czech Republic a few hundred years ago, and then from this asteroid, they pretty much they collect this rock called Motivite, and I own a few pieces of this Motivite crystal, and it's extraterrestrial. And the first day I got it, just reading up on it, they say it's real vibration, high vibrational, so you might experience all these physical symptoms. So the first day I got it, I experienced headaches right away. But I didn't associate it with that until I looked it up afterwards. And I'm like, yo, why I got this headache? Like, fuck. And then that same night, I went to sleep with that crystal near me. I had a dream. It was a crazy dream, which really, I feel like dreams are just, they're more like recordings. So in this, in this recording of this dream, I, I I was walking and I heard this baby crying. So I went to it, checked the baby, and it was an extraterrestrial baby. And then I seen its mother like a little far from the distance. But I just thought that that was crazy. I don't think it's random at all. So if extraterrestrials are real, then I don't think anything changes. I feel like, like Jared said, people might start questioning stuff. But it really just comes down to if they decide to really interact with us like on a global scale then that's when shit might get weird yeah so i think it comes down to one of two things are we more intelligent than them or are they more intelligent than us so do we discover them or do they discover us um i think if we're more intelligent than them uh it's just going to be something that maybe gets swept under the rug or over time, I'm you know I'm not too sure. But if they're more than if they're more intelligent than us, I think they're definitely ignoring us. Like they're just looking at what goes on, and they're like, oh, not going to this ghetto ass planet. You're like they stink. <laughs> <laughs> like oh, roll up your window, <laughs> lock your door, <laughs> lock the doors. No, <laughs> um, I think that's probably the case. Uh, because I think, you know, if, you know, if they are more intelligent than us and they come down, 
I think we would mess it up. Like that episode of South Park, I don't know if anyone's, if you're familiar with the one I'm talking about where um, they, you know, make a, a wood derby car and it goes into space because Stan's dad, or no, yes, um, Randy steals a piece of, I don't know. So now these aliens come and they pretty much do like a litmus test on the planet and the United Nations just, we bomb it. <laughs> like the aliens were like, yeah, this was a test. I finally failed. remember that episode. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's what would happen or we would do something stupid. So I, I think if they are more intelligent than us, they avoid us. Um, because I want to say within the last like five or 10 years, didn't they say we, you know, we found like proof of, of germs and, and alien, you know, germs on Mars and stuff like that. Or, you know, so it, yeah, they exist to a certain extent, but to what extent? Mm. And yeah. um, if if we discover them, I don't, I don't think that's going to be the case. But if if we discover them, I just, I don't think anything good would come of it. <laughs> we are very violent as a species. Look at history. Well, <laughs> we if, we wanna, if we want to go into the conspiracy corner, <laughs> there's there's people who say that there was not another moon trip, or uh, trip to the moon because. That they saw extraterrestrials mm -hmm. out there, and they said that they, the footage, them. they said that the footage was being live streamed of the moon landing. But then they all then they cut the they cut the feed. They said, "Why was that?" And they said, "Because they came in contact with some extraterrestrials, and they cut it because they didn't want to pretty much scare the people of Earth." And I heard they got threatened when they were up there as well, not to come back. And maybe that's why they haven't returned. Mm -hmm. Yep, because that was on the Neil Armstrong mission, and there's actual audio. <clears throat> with him and his crew talking down to NASA headquarters, and they're just like, "Yo, there's huge buildings. Like it's like a like it's like a civilization on the moon, and it's on the dark side of the moon. So it was mm -hmm. like, if you got a telescope, you can't see it. Like it's on the dark side of, and they just like it's like huge skyscrapers, you know. And then that was when the comms cut out, and then you know." Like, it was classified for quite some time, but they told him, like, yeah, like, we made contact with alien species up there. They pretty much was like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, don't come back here no more. And that's why we have not been back to the moon. You know, it's just like, the moon, in relative, in relative terms, is not that far from Earth. Yeah. Like, the fact that it is the closest celestial body to us, and we've been there one time, yeah, and just put a flag you know, down but we're constantly trying to go to Mars. We're constantly yeah. trying to go to Saturn and Jupiter. You know, but the but the thing that's right at your back though, it's just like nah, bro. Um, we don't <laughs> trust them niggas over there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like hey, <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I'm but like but like what Steve was saying. I feel as though it's a given that if we ever, whenever we make contact with them, or they make themselves known, I should say. That they're gonna be a thousand times smarter than us. Oh yeah. You know, like I, I like I watch all these like documentaries where they're just like, it's so many species that already live on this planet, and you know, and it's like, and they are such an ancient species. Like they look at us almost like ants. Yep. Because there you know, that. like because you know, because like we are a younger species. We're violent. We're very emotional. We're prone to war. You know, and like. I feel like that's another reason why they won't make their presence known because it's almost like this species is so young, they're so rooted in religion. If by us showing our faith, billions of people will, you know what I'm saying? Like it will shake them to the core. I, I, don't, like, mean to, just, huh? I, don't, I don't mean to, to flip it real quick, but I remember reading within the last month. Um, there was something out there suggesting that octopus were actually extra, extraterrestrial because they don't make, they were saying that basically anything an octopus can do is it's not supposed to be of this earth. Like just their skills, their intelligence. Yeah, the camouflage. Yeah. 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 So I, gosh, I wish I remembered what it said, but I gave it a quick read and it was an interesting. Uh, it wasn't, you know, some piece on <coughs> Whatever it was, it was something. I wonder if it was from Nat Geo or something saying like, "Oh, yeah. hey, maybe they are originally from space because they don't make much sense." <laughs> and we I mean, haven't done much ocean exploration either, which is also it covers, it covers like seventy 
5% of our surface and we've only explored, I think like 10% of it or less. So. And that's the thing about it. I feel as though when we hear the word aliens, extraterrestrials, our eyes immediately go to the sky. But I feel as though a lot of them are already on this planet and they're hiding amongst us. You know, like you said, with the ocean floor. Like, what it is, uh, Mariana's Trench is deeper than my Everest is high. Yeah. We don't know what's down there. You know what I'm saying? You know, but there are countless reports of um, naval ships, submarines, you know, seeing things rise out of the ocean or from the sky shoot down into the ocean, you know, and it's just like maybe we looking at all this stuff the wrong way. Like maybe it's not up in the air. Like maybe we should start looking on this actual planet. You know, I heard that there's some species that like live deep, deep, deep in the jungles and caves deep, 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 deep on the ground. Like just some of the documentaries you'll come across or even like some of the books you read, like what book is that I read? Um, be uh, Behold the Pale White Horse or whatever that is. Mm-hmm. Good Behold book, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly, but a real good book, you know? Um, but yeah, I, I, I just feel as though, I feel as though like they exist, but they're not gonna make their presence known because they're so much more advanced than us they know the kind of effects it can have on the human race. Bro, and there's there are so many stories of like people who are like work at like headquarters, like military headquarters, where they got launch codes and you know what I'm saying, they got they got the equipment to send off some missiles. And some will fly over and everything will just go just get wiped out like from mm-hmm. EMP. And it happens at multiple different locations at the exact same time once they yep. like back test it or backtrack it or whatever. But and the crazy thing about it, did you know that there's a verifiable story that you can find that happened at Ellsworth Air Force Base back in the day? I do know that. It but, took place between Ellsworth and Rapid City Airport. And it's a verifiable on. story. No, okay, so I'm thinking of the story that happened on base. Okay. No, nah, nah, there's it. another story where there was something in the sky and Ellsworth Tower was communicating with Rapid City's tower. Mm. Like, hey, do you see this bogey in the air? And like, Rapid's looking at their radar like, no, we don't have anything. And they're just like, oh, we thought y'all was doing like training missions. They're like, no, we don't have, and so Ellsworth, like, we don't got no planes in there. They can't see it on radar. But Ellsworth and Rapid City Airport are both seeing this object go back and forth between the two locations. Hmm. And they said it was big as hell. Like it's a Google, it's this, this, like it ain't even a word, but it's a Googleable story. <laughs> 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 like it blew my mind when I read it. I was like, what the hell? That's but Googleable? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hell, I saw something when I was freaking at Ellsworth. And that shit blew my mind. Because I remember coming through Main Gate and I'm and I'm pretty much driving in to work and I'm coming up the main road right there by base housing. It's me and I'm right behind another car that's in front of me. And it, I, I, I want to say this happened about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, because it actually just popped up in my Facebook memories. And I'm driving and right like straight ahead, like like you looking out towards cattle. I see this bright green light rise up from the ground. You know, and I'm thinking, but the way it went up, I thought it was a firework being shot up. Yeah. So I thought, it was, so I was like, okay, it's kind of late for fireworks, but I watched this green ball go up in the air and I'm waiting for the explosion. But when it got to the peak, it stopped. And then it Hover. zipped. Zip, 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 and then it shot off. I'm thinking I'm tripping, but the car in front of me stopped too. Like, like we both stopped in the middle of the road just watching this thing straight ahead in the direction of cattle. You know, and once it left, like we kind of sat there for a second and then the car in front of me started going again. I know they had to be thinking the same crap. I was thinking like, bro, am I tripping right now? But if I swear, and I would tell you, I would, I would 
I, I, I would think I was tripping if that car in front of me did not stop the same way I did yeah. and watch that. Like, what do y'all think crop circles are for? Huh? Crop um, circles. That, that, that's going to go tangent. Some of it's been proven to be hoaxes and pranks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of them? Some of them have been proven to be. I don't, I don't know much about any of them. Yeah, yeah. Some of them it's like some been proven as, as hoaxes, and, but, but like, but like some of them are like every single stock is broke at the same height. I don't know. Like, you I, can I, do, I, I, I you don't can know. do it with, uh, with rope and, and plywood, and X amount of boards. Mm-hmm. Can be, yeah, mm-hmm. it's been some of it's been debunked pretty easily. Okay, there's yeah. also people who who believe that the Egyptians had help with from extraterrestrial beings to build the pyramids. Oh, uh, well, I mean, um, because their pyramids point to Orion's belt, and I think that's the same for the Mayans as well. Um, it points yeah. to Orion's belt. Yeah. I mean, um, the both societies were very astral. And with something, right? What's that? Yeah, it's, it's right in the middle the of the pyramids center. Are, are, like, it's on line with something. Yeah. Orion's belt. They all point to, to perfectly to Orion's belt. No, I mean, not point. It's on like, it's like, it's like perfectly. <laughs> Is it's it's lined up with something else on Earth, and it's like I cannot remember. Like I would have to look it up. Uh, but yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised. And some of it is also because both societies were very advanced in their math, and oh, yeah. their calendars were very astrological based. So, yeah. but still, I mean, it's, pretty, it's pretty coincidental that you know. With different, that, remember, different continents on other sides of the globe, different hemispheres. <laughs> stuff pointing to Ryan's belt was pretty cool. I mean, with that, though, like, how did they build it, though, you know? Like, those some huge boulders. Yeah. There's no way they had equipment to build that shit. That's Like, each boulder was what? Like, damn near a ton? Yeah. And they and then, built these massive pyramids with it? And then on the hieroglyphs, they have images of seem to look like, like flying saucers or whatever, or UFOs, but... You got people say, well, that's this or that's that. And who knows? But what popped up, though, when we were talking about uh, um, pretty much deep sea creatures or whatever, what do y'all think is the Bermuda Triangle? What do y'all think is going on? Yeah. I mean, it could be almost like a Stargate. You never know. You know, like it could be something that they use for like, uh, like almost like a wormhole on Earth. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Is, well, part of it naturally is a lot of hurricanes and rough sea occur that you know occur in that <clears throat> part of the world where the different tides and and everything meet. I mean, so especially back then, when technology wasn't what it is today, it was a lot easier to get lost at sea in storms and. You know, back then, thunder and lightning can distort navigation and compasses. Today, it's a little bit more advanced, but still, I mean, a lot of a lot of weird stuff happens there. But I think a lot of it has to do with it's very easy, like the fog of war. Like when you get scared, mm-hmm. you're a lot more susceptible when you panic to fucking. Crap yeah, I mean, but a lot of stuff does happen there. So. Yeah, because I get that when it comes to like if you've been on a ship. But there's also planes that go over there. You know what I'm saying? Well, exactly, exactly. And especially back then, the navigation system was very sensitive, and it was like, you know, on site with the horizon and a compass, and you know, it's not what it was today. But yeah, no, planes still do definitely go missing. But it, it's it's a perfect storm. Like that area is just like a lot of it's a perfect storm area. Well, I believe that wraps up the first topic. Unless y'all got any last last words. Nope. All right, cool. Let's move on to the second topic. And this topic is, is it okay to judge someone based off of their past? Uh, yes. I would agree. Um, I, I would say yes, just because... If, you know, if someone has a past and, um, or if their past is mysterious or there's just a gap in the past and you just trust it blindly, you put yourself, uh, you make yourself very susceptible to being taken advantage of. Um, 
and people's past does tell you about their decisions and behaviors. Now, it doesn't mean that's who they are today. So if somebody has a past and they're honest with you about it and you do see that change, then I don't think it's fair to, to hold it against someone. But if they tell you about that past and then they claim they've changed and then you see those patterns and obviously, you know, it's a huge red flag. Um, so it's not fair to hold it against them if they've been honest and if they've improved or made it, you know what I'm saying? Because people, sometimes people go through some stuff and then they do change and they do come out better. You know, sometimes people go to jail over some dumb stuff and then they come out better for it. It helps them mature. Um, some people do stupid stuff and then they enlist and then they come out better for it. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah. I'm not, yeah. it's not fair to hold that against someone because I've done a lot of stupid stuff. I just never got caught, and so I don't have a record or anything like that, luckily. But, um, you know, it's not fair to hold it over someone if they're honest about it. Like, yeah, you know, I did some dumb stuff, whatever, X, Y, Z. And then you see that they're a changed person because, you know, you, you can't judge them for it on that, I think. So that's kind of where I fall with it. Yeah, no. Um, like I said, I agree. Is it is okay to adjust my older past. Me personally, I try not to. Because for one, it's like some things, it's there's always like three sides to each story. There's this person's side, the other person involved, and then the truth. So if someone came to me with like, well, be careful with that person. They're this way, this way, this way. I'll take it with a grain of salt. I'm not gonna based on based off of their experience or what they said, I'm not going to be like, you know what? Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going to just avoid them at all costs. Some cases I will do that. You know, if like, if the past is too like unforgiving for me, like if they just committed like some, 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 I call them spiritual crimes, something that can't be forgiven. It's like, nah, bro. Nah, I don't want no association, but like growing up, the, 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 the people I grew up with, if you was to ask the, the average fucking going person, would you would you like pretty much advise anybody to hang on to them? They would say no, because they're violent or they, they had this history or they got this criminal record. I don't give a shit, right? Because I know them on a on a different level. And it's I don't know. I just try to give most people the benefit of the doubt. So it is okay, but I try not to. And like 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 Steve said, definitely don't hold everything somebody's ever did over the head. And so I feel like most things have like have like a, a expiration. It's like okay, you fucked up, but then you, you should get time to like get past that. Don't keep holding some shit over somebody's head they did 10, 15, 5 years ago. Unless it's just some fucked up shit. But well, even, you can you can hold it over someone's head if they have never apologized or they, you know, kind of want you to get over it, but they don't want to acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? I well, think me personally, I you, still would. No, no, that's, I think that's more of just a motivator to just cut it off. Yeah. If, you know what I'm saying? Cause otherwise why well, hold on to it? So that's what I'm saying. If they're not, if they're not sorry or whatever, and then they expect, you know, I never said sorry, or I never was truly sorry, but after three years, I expect you to get over it, or five years, or ten years, it's like, no, mm -hmm. no, nah, nah, I'll just end that right there. If you're not sorry, no, nah, you never will be cool. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't know. I kind of feel like, okay, I feel like yes and no. I mean, I'm with, I agree with both of y'all, especially like Brian, when he was like, um, it depends on what you want me to overlook. Like, let's just say, for instance, like 15, 20 years ago, you was a goddamn freaking, um, you was charged with pedophilia. You're not finna watch my fucking kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, that's something that, yeah, I'm going to judge you on that. Like, that's going to stay on you like a stain. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, there's nothing that's going to get that out you in my eyes. But it's, at the end of the day, for the most part, I would say, I don't think it's right because I wouldn't want somebody to judge me. 
off of some stuff that I did in the past, you know. Now, granted, I've 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 never done anything monumental, you know what I'm saying? That will really alter somebody's judgment or their perception of how they look at me. But like like like, let's look at it in the case of media, and you have this quote unquote a uh, cancel culture because somebody's tweets from 2002 came up. Yep. Like, I'm not even the same man from 2018. So, to, so to hold somebody to a barometer of a Grubrick scale that was, you know what I'm saying, from 20 years ago, like, that person is not the same person. Like, y'all not the same dudes from high school that y'all are today. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, life, like, life is an amazing teacher. Like, like, she has imparted wisdom and experience. So, it's like, I'm not in that same mindset. I don't think the same. I don't operate or move the same no more. That person there, no, yeah, that was young dummy. Like he exists in that timeline. But like now, like I've I've progressed. You know, so I never agreed with cancel culture. I never agreed with that whole digging up people's tweets or mm-hmm. finding old Facebook posts. Like, you know, what happened with like James Gunn. The like the director of Marvel who did like all the Guardians book. And you know, he temporarily was fired from Marvel because of some old tweets that he did what, back in 07? You know, with some tasteless jokes. But it was jokes, you know. He was trying to make a name for himself at that time. But it's just like prior to y'all bringing that to his attention, I'm pretty certain he forgot all about that. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he Thank probably wake up it. exactly, you know, like he probably wake up and he trending for some messages that he's like, bro, I don't even remember that. Like, how many times you open up Facebook and you go to your memories and you read your freaking, um, you know what I'm saying, like memory, like Facebook posts, and you just like, yo, I was lame, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like, I see shit saying? like that with me the other day. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, like, bro, I was Thank on you. some lame stuff in '09, mm-hmm. but <laughs> it's, yeah, it, 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 yeah, like exactly, like that's why. I, again, I agree with y'all, but I think it depends on the severity of what are you are asking me to overlook. Oh yeah, you know, if it's small stuff, man, we like nobody's perfect. We all done dumb, dumb, done dumb stuff in the past. You know, some of we remember, half of it we don't. <laughs> you know, but we wouldn't want to be judged on that because at the end of the day, where would we get in life? Because everybody would be getting judged. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I feel like that was straight to the point. <laughs> <laughs> like, like I said, the last one. Y'all got anything else? Because I feel like that does it for that topic. Mm-hmm. Y'all good? Cool. Let's go to the third one. This one is super interesting to me. So this topic is, would you rather lose all your memories? Like right now, you lose all your memories from the past or never be able to make new ones. Yeah. <laughs> <Hold on. Remix>. <laughs> oh, man, it's a remix. <laughs> Remember? Let me try that again, all right? <clears throat> Would you? <laughs> all right, here we go. Would you rather lose all your memories? To, to never be able to. God, dog, I can't talk, huh? Hey, y'all know the question, y'all. <laughs> oh, fat tongue, goddamn. Hey, man, my tongue is tripping right now. Mm. Last time. Would you rather lose all of your memories or never be able to make new ones? Yes, safe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we keeping all that in there. Oh man. <laughs> well, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and start this one. Hopefully, I don't strip over my words some more. But it, if I do start tripping, one of y'all just save me. Don't just sit there and stare at me like y'all just did. Like, uh-huh. Oh, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna laugh. Don't worry. <laughs> That's my wow, support. So, like, would I rather lose all my memories or not be able to make new ones? Um. I really be. I would rather lose all of my memories, and my reason is because if right now I just lost all memories, 
I just didn't know where I was and know who was who. Like from here, the people I know can pretty much tell me about the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like this is how we know each other, blah, blah, blah. It won't be the same. But I'm like, okay, I know this person. Okay, this is my mother. This is my father. Blah, 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 blah. Not only that, all the, the, the past shit, all the, <clears throat> the, 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 the trauma and stuff, I would no longer carry that. I mean, it's still in the body because trauma is in the body. But my memory of it would be gone. And because if right now I just couldn't make memories, it almost would be like, I don't know. It's like starting at this moment, I just develop, um, what is it, Alzheimer's where you forget? Or what is it? It's like a, 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 a certain form of that. But instead of forgetting the past, you just forget every other step that you take in the future, you know? So my next move, like, I wouldn't be able to hold on to that memory. And it's like, what's the other reason for living at that point? It's like all the stuff you want to accomplish, why do it now? Because you can't even hold on to the accomplishment because – I don't even know how that would work. You go through an action and then it just be gone. Like you never did it. Almost like from this point forward, you just black out until until you until you pretty much pass away. I'm cool on that. I'd rather get rid of the memories. Um, I can see that. I can see. I can see. I I well, I get that logic. But it's like when you said, um, you rather get rid of memories. I feel as though memories is what helps shape us to who we are today. You know what I'm saying? Like without memories, we wouldn't be who we are. We wouldn't be where we are, you know, and you spoke about the trauma, trauma, whether or not we realize it it is a necessary evil. Yeah. You know, it is, it's jarring. It's a hand on the steering wheel that's snatching you into another lane you know, that alters your course in life. So it's like, though you may want to get rid of that trauma, that trauma, it's unfortunately, it's necessary. It taught you something, you know? It probably came with a big old tool bag and you got tools in it that help you cope with things now in life. That, you know, whenever you encounter a stressful situation or, you know, you just got a lot on your plate, you can reach in that tool bag and pull out that wrench. And you just know, like, okay, this is going to help me get through this. But if you get rid of that whole bank of knowledge, because memories, at the end of the day, is a form of wisdom. You know, like, you draw from memories of how something happened in a situation, and that helps you make better choices going forward in life. So to get rid of that and just be essentially a baby, like, going forward from that day, like, for yeah, it's cool to make new memories and you can have people be like, yo, Brian, I know you don't remember me, man, but we met in the military, dog. Like, we deployed together, man. Like, we was boys, man. We hung out all the time. We talked on posts. And you just like, yeah, okay. Appreciate that. But look, you know, hey, but think about that. That wouldn't affect me. That would affect you. You're like, oh, damn, my homie. But yeah. to me, I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. You know, so at the end of the day, it's, your situation is going to be like Drew Barrymore in a 51st base with Adam Sandler. You know what I'm saying? He keeps taking her on dates, and every single day she wakes up, she forgot him, and, she, and he has to make her fall in love with him every single day. You know? And it's just well, like... Actually, that would be more like losing the memories forward. Well, no. Well, yes and no. It's forward and back. Because she doesn't remember... Uh, After she, she meets them, she doesn't remember, you know, so it's like she kind of forgets kind of back and she forgets forward, you know, so she can't retain any new memories. Yes. Yeah, so Which it's is. like, who could you, it's like, how could you really foster relationships? Because people who are your homies could be trying to come to you and, and you kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, so I know you from here. There it doesn't mean that we're going to click again. Well, remember, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It was yeah. like, it's like and and like and like and like uh, again like you lost all of your database of stuff to pull from, you know. And it's just like everything that you experience would be the first time, and it's like you would literally be, uh, you know, what I'm saying a late twenty, early thirty baby all over again. Yeah. <laughs> 
I would probably want to get rid of making new memories. Like I would rather just stick with the ones that I got and just live in a loop rather than forget what I had and just hope that the second half of life, you know what I'm saying? Oh, like, they both fucking terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They both it's awesome. really like it's really like cover your eyes and just point. Like which one you want? So oh because the thing with 50 first dates, there were some days where she didn't like them. Yeah. But um, damn. that was one of Sandler's best movies, just quick interjection. <laughs> That's a tough one because uh, I see what uh, I see Brian's answer. But with that being said, what's the chance that we both wake up as enlightened as we are or that we pursue that enlightenment again? That's what I was thinking of too. I'm like, you, so, if you, if you know what your life purpose is, you're going to forget that. I'm like, yeah, yeah. And also like, I've noticed every time something traumatic in my life has happened or something, if it wasn't traumatic in a negative way, like something life altering that just shifts everything. Um, I tend to just throw myself into reading and sometimes it's just for entertainment, so like comics, right? Um, just junk reading, I guess you could call it. There's other times where I'll throw myself into like, you know, religion, mythology, history, um, you know, other books of like, you know, controlling society or, or stuff like that. And, and um, with, when that happens, you gain a certain type, or at least for me, you know, I, I read so much and I just retain so much random information and to lose all of that. And then my whole life, I kind of walked that fine line of like gray Jedi or possibly a bad guy. And so it's like, if I reboot, you know, it almost might be coming back as Superman, you know, with the black suit. Mm -hmm. that reset. And it's like, you know, hey, remember, because it's just like, I don't care. <laughs> like, who are you to me? Yeah. So, ah, uh, but then to not be able to make new memories is awful. Because, like, think about it. If you had a shitty point in your life right now, it's never going to get better. <laughs> because you're stuck with that memory if you forget, if you get rid of, like, making new memories. Yeah, but if I, if I, get, rid of, if I get rid of my past, like, what if I wake up with no attachment to my kids? Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, I'm not a parent, yeah. but yeah, that'd be tough. Pictures, seeing them, like it, it ain't gonna do it. Yeah, she's like, I really don't remember you. I don't know you. And then like my situation's like, where's your mom? Oh, word. Like you know, so that's I'm like, yeah, uh, I think I would want to kind of live in the loop. Neither is ideal, but at least living in the loop, like I'm the one who pays the price, and I can live with that. So I would have to say I'll live in the loop because my kids and loved ones, my family, you know the small amount of close friends I do have, um, I'd be able to make new memories with them and they'd be able to remember it, but I wouldn't. So like, I'd be okay with paying that price because to have a hard reboot, oh, that's, that I couldn't live with a hard reboot because there's too many, so many random things. Like I have Murphy's Law in my life, except for I just can't die. Like the most random shit can go south, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, at any given moment. So like I think a lot of times I came out when life hit me with a curveball. Like almost like Creed, dude. Like it's it's you know, when he gets hit and then he's out and then he wakes up and it's like, oh damn, didn't expect that. Okay, all right, you got up, all right. Like yeah. so I just feel like I uh if I had a hard reboot and I didn't remember stuff and I came back as like the dark Superman for a minute, where there's with no attachment or if I just came back as an asshole, right? Just like very animal spirited and just very naive and just selfish. Yeah. Like, you know, cause it's uh, like, you kind of got to think about that. Cause if you wipe out your old memories and, you, yeah. and now you're only making new ones, like I've said it multiple times, you are reverting back to an uh, infant. So basically, now basically, it's going to yeah. be part of your environment. So whatever environment you're in is going to help shape your personality. You yeah, so might not be. Huh? Based off of that and then the fact that 
I'm the one who would pay the price. Everyone else gets to make new memories with me. I just won't remember it the next day. So like I pay that price ultimately the most. Mm-hmm. I, I would live with that for my kids, right? Because it would kind of suck. It's not ideal, but at least they could be like, yeah, we remember we did, like, we did this with my dad. We did this with my dad. It's like, he didn't remember it, but yeah, we remember it. It was a good time. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I, I, could live with, I could live with that. Yeah, I mean, because to others, it will just be like, like I said, like, like you have Alzheimer's to others, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, yeah. he just forgets. But basically, Oh man, they man, both of them are horrible. <laughs> yeah, horrible. Because you like like Jared said, you start off as a as a child all over again. You just grown man, going to the world. People expect you to be a certain way, and you was like, "What is money?" Like, fuck, yeah, drop you know what I mean? Let me remember what to cook. <laughs> I mean, because. If you start over, you man, you gonna be you might as well be a a um a special needs person, a special needs child, because you're gonna need someone to look after you at all times at that point. If like if you restart over that far, you know? Yeah. Cause it's like you, you need a guardian with you at all times. Like you know, at least me. until you get up to age, so to speak. But I mean, in both, I mean, in, in, in both situations, you'll have somebody in your camp who can fill you in. You know, if you pick to create new memories to forget the old ones, like you said, Brian, you got somebody who can fill you in. Like, ah, oh, man, like, bro, like, bro, like, we used to go downtown a while lot and take eight shots and yeah. you know what I'm saying? And then vice versa. If you keep the old memories and you're making memories, but you're not recording them, people can tell you all the time or, you know, we're being in 2020, they got videos on their phone. Like, bro, you don't remember this dog, but freaking you made out with this freaking stripper at Bell Star, and and you know what I'm saying? Like, and you just watching the videos, like, I, I don't remember this, but that's oh, like you blacked out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. Like, like your life will feel like a blackout. But I mean, that would be like, the same the other way, it, too. But that's clearly me, so that would be I'll, the same the other way, too. Yeah, because yeah. you don't remember. Oh, man. They both see. I mean, for a moment, I was, I was like, ah, I might have to join y'all on that side. But then I was like, at least you said somebody's in my corner, and they like, look, you are. If they came to me and was like, look, this is your purpose in life. This is the reason why you're here. If somebody said you're here to spiritually evolve, I think I would take that. It's my 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 first answer because I'm like, bro, the only reason why I came down to Earth anyway was to do this. If I'm stuck in this memory, I'm not going to be able to fulfill that. There's no way. You may uh-huh. do it that day, but then the next day you wake up, you have no recollection of it. So you're going to do that again. It's going to be but Groundhog if, Day. But, but, if you re, but if you delete your old memories, who's the state that you're going to get back on this path? Well, that's why I said. You said there's going to be somebody there telling you that. So I would be like, if they told me, like, this is the reason why you're here, this is that. But you regardless, though, it doesn't mean that too. that's going to resonate with you. Yeah. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't that's make true. it. I mean, I, yeah. like, I can tell you up and down, like, yo, Brian, like, bro, you was big into this, dog. Like, you ate, slept, breathed this crap. And you're going to be like, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to go shoot some hoops. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hot like, wheels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know? And it's, it's like, no, bro, it's like, bro, like, before you did this, dog, like, you had an ancestor also, you meditated every day, like, you really did the spiritual work on yourself. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you When's know? SpongeBob on? <laughs> exactly. Where's the remote? But, see, uh, here's the thing, too. It's like, I'm 26. Hopefully, I live, let's say I live to 80. If I start them now, I still get... Well, I'm not good at math on the spot. What's uh, 50, 53 years? No, 54 years. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I still have 54 years to like do shit. If if I'm stuck at 26, man. Yeah. Nah, bro. Especially, nah. Because I'm not at a point where I want to be. And like, I'm pretty sure that's most people. They still got shit that they trying to accomplish. So. I say keep detailed notes. You almost have to. You almost have to have a diary, where you keep very detailed notes to consistently jog 
your memory or to put you back at your save point, so to speak. Hold on, I'm still, I'm still undecided. Because <laughs> let, let's say I decided to go, go on y'all side, right? When I wake up, when I still have the knowledge I have right now, I would become a mad scientist. I'm a, there's got to be a way I can rec- I can put this in my DNA. Well, I might not remember it on a like a like as in a memory, but I, I don't fucking know, bro. <laughs> I mean, they both are mental prisons, so I think, yeah. I think, you're, I think you're still stuck on your first one. You're not going to switch sides. I don't think. Oh, I don't know because like like you like y'all just saying like. Let's say I did start over to like a child, but I still have like my. Let's say I can still like like function. Like I can still walk and talk and shit. Right, right. But I'm Cook like, yourself. no, you're hungry, sure. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would have to start all over, and I I guarantee I wouldn't be down this path because people be like, oh, you need a job. Oh, okay. Well, fuck, we get a job. This is what we do. You get a job, you pay your bills, and I'm stuck in that fucking hamster wheel. Top flight security in the world at Coles, baby. Bro, for real, I'll probably go join the military. It sounds like a good idea. Mm-hmm. I got a body for it. Yeah, let's go do that. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Ellsworth, baby. Yeah, uh, seems like you already did six years. What? <laughs> <laughs> Where at? Uh-huh. <laughs> See, man. Ah. I don't know. I don't got an answer. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, that's a that's a, that's a hard. One. I ain't thought about a question like that in a hot minute. <laughs> I mean, because honestly, and when you break it down, <clears throat> the reason also why I would say I don't want to make new memories is the only thing is if like maybe we're looking at it too broad. We're not making new memories, but our life is still the same. Your day-to-day life is still the same. You know what I'm saying? You're still laughing. You're still, you know, experience, emotion, everything. You're just not remembering it. So if, like, so, like, let's say you have a understanding significant other, you know, like, they can fill you in or they can understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, for whatever reason, he slipped, fell, bumped his head. He's not recording. Like, he's always on play, but he's not recording. So you it's gonna do that every day for years. I mean, that's why I said they gotta be understanding. So maybe they don't try to um force you to remember stuff. Maybe they have a photo album, you know, and y'all just go through pictures and you know they inform you about it. Because I think that's get... the... huh? I feel, I feel like that's the thing too. Y'all looking at it from like how will others be. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much looking out for them. And I'm like, me. <laughs> How I feel. Yeah. But if you still remember your past, you can still actively work. You just won't remember. And that's why I say I feel as though you would have to have like a diary to where you keep extremely detailed notes every day before you go to sleep of, you know, where you stopped at, what you were working on. Okay. It just you know, and like just things like that. Like you can assist yourself in the future. You can't assist yourself in the past. Like that shit gone. <laughs> that little part you just added in. Like <laughs> Man. okay, okay. Y'all got me. Y'all got me. Okay, yeah. Cause yeah, like if I can every day. Okay, I did like right at night. I'm writing on every single thing I accomplished. Okay, boom. Uh-huh. I can wake up next morning, read that, had that knowledge from yesterday, and then boom. Yeah, exactly. That's so, like, you always picking up from the save point. But if you erasing your backstory, you have nothing to draw back on. Like, it's just literally like, yeah, I you have, have no to wait for myself to catch up. Yeah. yeah. And Doesn't then hopefully always- I catch up in the same direction that I was going, you know? Because again, when you wipe that backstory, you probably change your timeline and your interests might not be spiritual in nature. Who's to say that this living isn't an avid vegan who loves skateboarding, (laughs) you know? So. What if 
the memories were still there. You just couldn't recall them. So they would come up almost like, you know, I'm moving and stuff. I don't know if that's if this how it really is, but people with PTSD, some will trigger and then that memory will pop up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So what if it was, I mean, I, I'm probably still you not. Would be, you would just be very confused because it would still be a flashback that you can't explain. That would be, that would suck too. Especially like if you had kids and let's say, let's say the kids were with, with, with was with the, um, the mom and they moved somewhere, right? And then you just didn't keep in contact with them because you wipe your fucking path. Fucked up in the, the little flashback or whatever, you, you see yourself with kids, almost kind of like um, Inception. When um, DiCaprio, he would always had a vision of, of, of his wife and kids, whatever, on the beach. Shutter Island. Nah, nah, it was, it was Inception. Yeah, this is on. Oh, uh, yeah, Because he, he would always have a little spinning top. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Shutter Island had the similar. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, in Shutter Island, he would have weird dreams with the wife and kids. But anyway, yeah, yeah. So that would suck. Be like, oh, fuck. Who's these kids I keep seeing? These my kids. Yeah. Ooh, big old thumb in the way. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I guess I'll join y'all side. But yeah. I guess that does it for this question. But I want to throw in a little, a, a, a little another question. You know. Go ahead. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh Lord. Uh. <laughs> hey, you muted. You muted. Bad. I said, yeah. I actually saw a YouTube video where they actually answered that question backed up by science. Well, I don't remember the answer. You out, you out. It's just me and Steve now. <laughs> 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 nah, what, what, what'd you find? I think, uh, I don't, I think, I don't remember. Uh, well, Bro. great. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to find a video, then I'll send it. But this man yeah. got his memory wiped. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you about to say, Steve? Um, I think it would have to be the chicken, right? Where'd it come from? Another <laughs> <laughs> chicken. So, I was pondering this like I don't know months ago, and I was thinking, so an egg is pretty much just something that's enclosed, right? That can, yes. Yeah, what's what's, what's what it is? An egg just came up from the ground. Nah. So <laughs> let's say. There was this, um, there was like water somewhere, right? And gas got trapped in there and it created a bubble, okay? But in this water, there was bacteria. So let's say the the, the, the temperature was, was like freezing cold, right? And let's say this gas bubble from the water came up from this like hot spring, you can say, and it created a bubble. And as that bubble was was pretty much coming up, the cold temperature pretty much froze it and it created a, a kind of an egg, but it's bacteria in there. And it was at the right temperature for something to survive in there. And then that birthed eventually over time. I don't know. Like that, 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 that's the egg, you know? Hmm. But I mean, I don't know. Who, but Jared knew, but then he got men in black. So we, I guess we will never know. It was like, all right, you watch this video. I gotta find that no, because like that video I watched, it was it was like it was like over a year ago. Hmm. But I, I like really like this YouTube channel. Like they do like a lot of uh science stuff. So and they break down like a lot of things like in like four minute videos. So you don't remember any of it? Or do you do you still remember what the the answer was? Like which one came first? Like if I had to guess, I wanna say they probably said the egg. I can't remember. Like, I have to go back and find that video. It's like it's been like over a year since I've seen it. Bro, let me see if I can pull this up. Y'all keep talking. No. I don't I really don't know. <laughs> you know the name of the channel? Huh? You know the name of the channel? Look up look up ASAP Science. Oh uh, yeah, you like subscribe now. Yeah, ASAP Science and like look up like chicken and she'll pop up chicken in the egg. Chicken. Chicken or egg? Y'all trying to watch it? On a recorded video? I can share the screen. I can share the screen. If not, forget it. 
I mean, do it if you want. It's a meaningless question. But at the end of the day, what we can all agree on is that regardless of whether it was a chicken egg or a proto-chicken egg, the first true chicken came from an egg. The egg came first. Huh. The egg came first. <laughs> That's crazy. So, um, I'm probably going to exit all that out. I'm, I'm not going to show any of that. Because <laughs> on YouTube, I'm not putting on YouTube. This is gonna be a copyright strike. It's like no. So I'll probably leave. They gonna sue you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just not gonna upload the video. <laughs> like, but yeah, like those, like, like that channel's addictive. Like all the stuff that they break down. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yo, like I never even thought about the science behind that. I still I, like my answer. I binge better. watch that stuff. So. so I think my answer was better, but she fucking. Science. Yeah, well, okay. science, I guess, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that rang supreme. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, what was the last question? Memories. Yeah. So we, we, we got the answer. Um, I believe that's going to do it for this, it. For this Godcast episode. This is number six. Like, it's crazy. We already did six of these things. But, um, like I said, if um if you're a new listener, new washener, did I say washener? Washener. Come mm -hmm. on, bro. What's wrong with me, man? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I blame COVID, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking up my speech. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. So if you are a new listener or watcher, you got any uh new topics? <laughs> <laughs> you want us to cover? Hey, you just just send it to us through message. Make sure the topics are Googleable. <laughs> yeah, Googleable. Hey, you sound like E forty saying it. Ooh, with the Googleable. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. Oh, uh, Steve, the only one ain't tripping over his words. I mean, you didn't trip over the word. You just created a new one. But hey, <laughs> hey it was sound smooth like, though. Sound like President Bush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you say? Um, hey, in Texas. Like, there was a saying in Texas, I believe it applies everywhere else to some shit he said. He said like, oh, uh, he said a lot of wild stuff, man. <laughs> What'd you say? He said a lot of wild stuff. It was like, uh, fool me once. Um, what do you say? It's like, uh, well, you fooled me twice, can't get fooled again. I'm like, well, what? <laughs> <laughs> you just butchered that whole saying. <laughs> he oh, tried. <laughs> I'm like in the middle of all these folks. Okay. No. But yeah, if you got any topics, send it in to us through DM. All the links and stuff will be in the description. Um, I'm going to have, you know, subscribe button to this channel. Jared's channel will be in there. Um, Y'all should pressure Steve to make a channel. Um, oh, make him yeah. talk about whatever you want to talk about. Just spam his ass. <laughs> Flip the comments. Yeah, go to his Facebook. <laughs> spam him. His you Facebook. Do you want your if Facebook? If y'all write me, I'll give y'all a cell phone number to blow him up too. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Don't even call me the FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can just reach out to us. Um, we got some apparel coming. It's already out. I just ordered my shirt, so my shirt should be here pretty soon. These guys will be ordering theirs. They said at the beginning of the month, so we're gonna get those shirts. See how they fit. They they look dope already. So if you want to check those out, you can go in the description box. It's gonna be an like Etsy. Uh, link just click on that it'll take you to the Etsy page just look at all the other apparel um do, 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 do. what else is there anything else um today is the full moon I believe it is Tuesday um uh, September 1st I believe it's full moon so if you're going through any emotional things know that it may be attributed to that um do, do, do. yeah I believe that's it man so Yep, so it has been another episode of the Godcast. Till next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. Tall on your feet, later make up the difference. Toss and turn in your sleep. Family, I know you miss it. Trip and ride from the streets. Starting to get the picture. Fight for your life and feet. Watch how you turn out winning. This shit just easy. I play the thoughts.